Welcome back to Armchair Coaches. And today we're going to be talking about the action that went down in every single week six game. And that even includes my charters getting cock slapped by the Ravens. Well, then could we at least pull up here and get some dinner? Because I like to be wined and dined after I've been f***. But before we get into that, be sure to patron our like and subscribe buttons, just like Cliff Kingsbury patrons every single bar and nightclub in Scottsdale. All right. So the Jaguars, they finally done it. They finally done it. It only took them 20 games in a row, but we can officially say that Urban Meyer has won an NFL game in 2021. You know, you know, what's funny is, you know, what's funny is that um, the Jaguars last year, they won their first game of the season. And they posted uh, one and oh, the first of many. <laughs> and they, they, did they had say a, the first they had, of many, too. Yeah, something like that. No, but they, they dude, didn't. Come on, guys. Come they, on. You're like, I don't want to say you're better than this, but you're not. Um, and then they didn't win till today. So I want to know the date on that Twitter. Oh, it took like on that tweet. It took like a, a 14 months or so. But, you know, you know, better late than never. Still haven't won in the U.S., though. So. OK, so yeah, that's, that's 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 true. And they might not ever actually. Yeah. You know, it took them beating the the extremely woeful Dolphins. So can we talk about how fucking awful the Dolphins look yes. right now? So Tua came back today. He actually didn't play horribly except for that backbreaking interception at the end of the game um, that basically fucked him. Um, but other than that, he threw two touchdowns and 329 yards, but their defense couldn't stop anything. No, like, oh yeah, no, they they literally wouldn't, they couldn't stop a runny nose. It, like they could put pressure, they put pressure on Trevor Lawrence, but other than putting pressure on Trevor Lawrence, nothing. Like they had two sacks, they had some passes defended. They didn't pick them off. They, 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 James Robinson had 101 total yards and a touchdown. Like, dude, it's a really big problem when the best takeaway from the game is Tua playing well. Yeah. And the Dolphins' That's run really game bad. isn't good either. And they didn't run well. So it's like if you don't have a good quarterback and you don't have a good run game, you just don't have an offense. No, Miles Gaskin is not taking you to the promised land. That's not happening at all. But hey, dude, Trevor Lawrence actually looked pretty good. I mean, this is actually a game when, of all things that happened, the rookie, not rookie, but like the young QB, one rookie, just overall young QBs all looked pretty good. Yeah, I would say that they all looked pretty good today. You know, yeah. other than Davis Mills, he looked pretty good. Yeah. Um. Uh, what's his face? The uh, receiver for the Jaguars. He had a really good game. Uh, Robinson to the Jaguars. You mean the running back? Or running back. Did, did I? Okay. James I, Robinson, yeah. the running back? Yeah, he yeah. had a great game. He had 101 okay. total yards. And then who else had uh, a decent amount of yards? I think Chanel. Just totally disregarded what I said. I, um, I sound really stupid there. But okay. And then Jamal Agnew, former Lion. Um, I, I mean, but that's a story that has been, you know, repeated many, many times. Yeah. yeah. We're not even going to talk about the Lions right now because it's the, just going to put Justin into a This game was honestly the only thing that was significant about it is the Jags won. Yeah, yeah, that's really the only thing that's significant. It's the only about reason it. we're even and talking also, about it. Also, we could argue that the Dolphins have been the biggest disappointment this season. A lot of people were expecting them to be like a sure shot. Oh yeah, they were yeah. ten and six last season. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I did. I thought two would step up. Yeah, I, I thought so too. And I'm like, oh, they have a good coach. They have Brian Flores. This is going to be the year that they actually make the playoffs. And good God, we could not have been more wrong. Absolutely not. Yeah. Um, All right, so you know what? Let's talk about a uh, another team that's kind of been a disappointment this year, and that is the Kansas City Chiefs. Dude, and KC actually, and mind you, they won. They yeah, won, but, but that doesn't tell the whole story. Yeah, they won, but KC trailed a lot of this game, like in like big moments, like up until like the second half, they trailed almost this whole game. And it's not like Heineke was playing lights out or anything. Like, not at all. And, and not the, at all. The Washington football team defense did play better. You know, they had pressure on Patrick Mahomes. But he had th two picks before he ever threw a touchdown, and he has 15 picks in his last 15 games. Have we ever seen Patrick Mahomes play like this? Ever? No, he's playing not well. He's you, not you know, playing well. Right you, now, he's probably a mid-tier quarterback. you you got to start asking the question that, like, well, yes, like, is Patrick Mahomes physically one of the most gifted quarterbacks to ever play the position? Absolutely. But, God, this guy's so fucking undisciplined. He, he just thinks that he can do whatever he wants. And I'm like, dude. This is an extremely intricate and finesse focused position. You can't just be doing this shit where you're just like, dink, like, tr just carelessly throwing passes to you know to McCole Hardman, and they're just they're not even close. Yeah, and so like all these arm angle things and all these things that he were doing that was really awesome is now coming back to be like, well, there's defensive pl people that have been in the league for sixty fucking years. You know what I mean? So like they've seen it all. And, like, don't get me wrong, no one's seen Patrick Mahomes and what he's done, but they've seen a variation, and so they can figure it out. 
And I'm not saying that he's been figured out, but that defense is awful. Now uh, Clyde Edwards' whole air is out, so they're fucked. Their running game is totally fucked. Their offensive line has not looked as good as it. For all the money they're paying, it's nowhere near as good. They have two of course guys. It's not as good, they have dude. two guys on the front seven that are making twenty million dollars, and they have like seven total sacks this season. Yeah, I know. They, they, like, yeah, no. As it, a it's, team, it's really, really, really bad. Like, well, I mean, I, I you can easily say that this is not only the most overpaid defensive line in the NFL. This is arguably the most overpaid defensive line of all time. Bro, you're paying Chris Jones twenty six million dollars a year. You're paying Frank Clark another twenty two million dollars a year for them to collectively get you like eight sacks a year. Dude, that guy was borderline almost in prison, like this summer. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. Like, this summer. I can't remember what for, but I remember being like, "Oh, he may never play another snap." And then he showed up week one. I was. Like, I mean, oh. but I mean, but what better representation of the Chiefs than someone that's in prison? So, all right. So, uh, you know what? Moving on. Let's talk about a player that is completely fucking carrying his team and doesn't deserve enough respect. And it is Michigan State's Kirk Cousins. It's it's Kirk. So I have a hot take, and I told you this before this. But if the Vikings were four and two, we'd be talking about Kirk Cousins as an MVP candidate. Justin, had, do you want to read off Kirk's stats today? Yeah, he had three hundred seventy three yards, three touchdowns, and one hundred and twelve point six QBR. Please tell me how that is a hot take. That's not that hot of a take. It shouldn't be a hot. That's take. not that. That's not a it's hot. It's just take, like though. everyone's like, oh, he's Kirk Cousins. He's fucking mayonnaise. Like he's the whitest guy that's ever lived. That's and a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. The, I die. I don't dispute that. He's his name is Kirk, but he's also Kirk. very good. He's Bro. A, dude, not, yeah, he's, not even very good. He's just he's on point this season, and he played well. And people were like, oh, he's not clutch. I was like, really? He just fucking won a game on a walk off passing t- receiving hey, touchdown. Hey, hot take though, dude. I think Adam Thielen's the best white wide receiver in the NFL. Bro, put him on the Rams, dude. He, dude, he's gonna be. He would be. Yeah. He would make Cooper, Cooper Cup a I number was, two oh, receiver. Oh, okay. I was like, it's literally between those two guys. I was like, yeah. I was like, the, hey, you know, they're there. They're there. There's, there. there, there, there's there. white guys playing receiver. They're, they're they, there. It happens. They're there. Yeah. Um, but but let's talk about on the other side of the field. Well, I have another Holy. hot take for the Panthers. Big big hot take. Um, and it's not about Sam Darnold, who is, by the way, I wrote this word for word, Sam Darnold is awful. He is so bad. It is hard to believe after watching him today that he has played the position of quarterback. Justin, uh, how many, uh, so, go because I'm reading it right now, but how many completions did he have compared to how many pass attempts did he have today? I think he had 17 completions to 42 incompletions. 41, yeah. 41. I don't even have that up here. Yeah, so basically, so out of 41 pass attempts, all of 17 were completed. That's like, if I'm doing my math correctly, that's like, Maybe but, forty, maybe forty percent. Yeah, maybe? The, maybe. Yeah. Well, dude, here's my here's my hot take. My hot take isn't even about Sam Darnold. It's about Christian McCaffrey. Cut Christian McCaffrey and start Chuba Hubbard. You're saving yourself sixteen million dollars a year, and then get no line. Get an O line. Get an O line. Because CMC is always hurt. It doesn't matter anymore. Like you're fucked. I would, dude. You know what? Well, actually, there's not going to be any good quarterbacks in this upcoming draft. I would say tank at this at this point. And I mean, they're three and three. But I mean, okay, are you? Is Sam Darnold really going to take you to the Super Bowl? He's so bad, bro. He's so bad. He's dude, like, so bad, dude. Literally, it's so crazy because the first three games, everyone's talking about like, oh, this is the reincarnation of Sam Darnold. He's I been said able that. To, yeah, I I also thought that too. He looked really good. He was leading the league in rush yards for quarterbacks. Uh, but. Hey, dude, yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Dude, he threw for 200 yards against a legitimately not good defense. That's not good. No, That's not they, good. they were, they were, he's awful. He's Bro, terrible. Dude, like their best part of that defense is like an aging Everson Griffin. I, I literally, I legit <laughs> thought he was going to get benched. Mm-hmm. I thought they were going to put him Philip Walker. I was like, oh my God. Is that their backup? Yeah. That's not good. No. That's not good. So yeah, the Panthers, uh, you guys are kind of fucked, honestly. Uh, but let's talk about uh, another game that was a shit show and about my favorite team is the Chargers. Like, good God, I don't know what the fuck happened in yeah, this game. Yeah, so Herbert didn't look great. The Dude, the Ravens just look like they had a really good game plan on defense for the freaking Chargers. Like, they're like, look, yeah. we're, not, they're not, they're, they're just not going to pass on us. They're, we're going to try and make them run, and if we they do pass on us, we're just going to be draped in coverage. And they had a great, they did a great job. Like, Herbert threw a pick. He did not look good. I like, it's say, just dude, a bad about, game. I want to say about 10% of their plays on defense, the Ravens had two linebackers. So they're running, like, a nickel like or even more secondary absolutely yeah. like well how many yards did mike get mike williams have like 27 yeah like no, the, 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 clearly he was a huge part of their, their game plan yeah you know he was I mean? a massive part of their game yeah. plan. they're like we're not gonna get beat deep that's what we're we're not gonna get beat deep Bro, what has mike williams been doing every week for like the last three weeks Beating people deep. all those dude all those plays where you're like how the fuck? he's a jump ball guy you're like how the fuck is this guy that exactly open? and so he's dude he's six five well, like, well, come on. You know well, what I look, mean? The, like, the, the Chargers' run defense wasn't great, so the Ravens... Like, because Lamar didn't oh, play 
well. No way. The Chargers run defense. Well, Lamar wasn't good. didn't look, look good, and no, yeah, he had a bat. He had like a sixty-eight QBR, at two picks and one touchdown, and For, they still dude, no. His QBR was lower, dude. He only had one hundred fifty yards, like dude, passing. They yeah. blew the Chargers out. One sixty-eight, one sixty-eight, but they literally made us look so bad. They absolutely cock slapped us. Today. Yeah, Latavius Murray looked like a Pro Bowler. It, it was so bad, and so like. You know, I will say, you know, I'm just going to take, this isn't even a moral victory. I'm just, you know, like beating a team in the NFL is really difficult twice. And I rather the Chargers get their shitty game out now. Just coming from a Chargers just fan. Just bury the ball. I Because, dude, even after this game, I still think it's pretty realistic. The Chargers are going to at the very least be a playoff team. I, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All well, right. let's talk about the other two teams that we both thought were going to be playoff teams. But at this point, the other one might not be. Which one? Which one is that? The Browns. Oh, dude! Oh my God! Yeah, and dude, that's not their fault, bro. Dude, they have such a difficult schedule. They do. They have such a hard schedule. Every week they play, I'm like, holy fuck! They got to play the Ravens. They, then they had to, they played the, the Chiefs, Chiefs, the Chargers, the Chargers. Like what a um, fucking nightmare, dude. Yeah, who, and then now they the played, Cardinals. They the, the only undefeated team in the league. Yeah, you know what I mean. And so it's not even like it was a hard schedule when they made it last year because some of those games, obviously, like the Chiefs, the Ravens. The you know, but then the Chargers are good this year, and then so are the Cardinals. So they just got double fucked. They got double fucked, and I, I mean, I will say that definitely shows some credit because like th- playing an Arrowhead is by far the toughest draw in the entire NFL, and the Browns probably should have won that game. They should have, yeah. They should have won that game, but they just. But thing is, the difference is Baker Mayfield in the fourth quarter is fucking anemic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, so, but the, like, I'll say this: the Cardinals are the real deal. Yeah, dude, Ky- they didn't even have a fucking play caller. Yeah, Kyler, he- Kyler, yeah, dude, fucking Cliff wasn't even there. Kyler Murray is gonna win MVP. Four touchdowns, zero picks. Like dude, he's, he's gonna win MVP. Like Chubb was out. Uh, Baker was sacked five times. Can- yeah, oh my god. So like this is this is the whole game. This is how it won. Kyler Murray and had this, to play this is supposedly up. the be- one of the best offensive lines in the well, NFL. Well, no, that's the whole thing. They were banged up today. Jedrick Wills was out. I know Jack. I don't know if Jack Conklin played, but he was hurt. Um. Nick Chubb was out today, which led to the Browns only having 73 rushing yards, and the Browns were 3 of 10 on third downs. Yeah, that's not, not gonna going get it to done. win you many games in the mm-hmm. NFL. It's not going to get it done. No, but you know, despite literally not having a head coach nor an offensive uh, an offensive play caller, the Browns look where they're like, okay, no fucking problem. Here's four touchdowns from our quarterback against a pretty good defense. Yeah, and then and then we'll have our defense also just absolutely swarm this team. The uh, like that that is an understatement. And so the Cardinals are the real deal. Like they are for sure legitimate Super Bowl contenders. They they, I mean, I don't want to say oh they're gonna probably win the NFC West because the NFC West is still a nightmare minus the Seahawks. Uh, you know the Niners like they're not amazing, but they're still that's not an easy win. By no, the means. Rams are very good. Yeah, and the and the the Rams are gonna be a playoff team because the NFC the, collect outside of the NFC West and the Bucks. And kind of the Packers, the NFC is a shit show, like in a bad way this year. I agree. That, yeah. And that, that kind of brings us to our other, our can, next. Can I, can I say one thing? Yeah, that's do like, it. Yeah. So, because the N- one thing that's weird is because the NFC, obviously, that was the original NFL. You know what I mean? That's yeah. like the teams, like, you know, the Giants, like the Cowboys, uh, yeah, you yeah. know, like the OG teams. Mm-hmm. And so the NFC for the entirety of the NFL has always been the more competitive, fran- uh, not franchise, uh, conference. Now it's not anymore. Not at all. Now it's not. Not even close. And the, dude, outside of Kyler Murray, name one emerging young superstar quarterback in the NFC. Emerging or emerging? I don't know. And no, but the, or to, but point is, is like think about in the AFC, you got Herbert. Yeah, Allen, you have a ton. Jo- you got. Lamar. I was gonna say Dak, but I guess like he's like twenty. Bro, he's, he's played in the league for like six years. Now. Yeah, he's twenty eight. Yeah, no, like he's not emerging anymore. And so, like, he, D- Dak, who looked great. And so, let's talk about that game because, bro, I'm the biggest Cowboys hater on the planet. And watching them be good is like, it's sickening to me. Dak's but, top yeah. 10. What do you mean? Dak's definitely a top 10 quarterback now, for sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I thought, you're, like, I, there's no question. I think I he's possibly top eight. Yeah, I thought, yeah, like, top eight is not a hot take at all. Not a hot take. Dude, I mean, he had 445 passing yards. Did he have any? He had one pick, I think. He, he always throws a pick, though, he bro. Always he throws, always yeah. throws a pick in the first quarter and then throws three touchdowns, mm-hmm. which is fucking weird. Yeah, no, he, he did. Have, and so, but the thing that's most impressive is that the Cowboys, you know, they're not just winning in only shootouts. They're winning in a variety of ways. They're, they're doing it what good teams do, and good teams just figure out ways to win. 
That's their what, defense is a lot better. Yeah, way better. Way better. Dude, a lot better defense. Dude, let's talk about the white elephant in the room. Fucking Trevon Diggs, dude. Yeah, dude. Seven dude. picks, six games. That that's insane. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. Like I get that there's some of those are probably luck, but there I still think that getting turnovers is more skill than luck. Yes. I still think it's, it's more positioning. Skill than luck. It's positioning. Um, you know, his his coverage is still good. Be, being a lockdown corner in the NFL is fucking hard. Behind being really a franchise quarterback, hard. that's gotta be the hardest position that's in the NFL. Really, really hard. And it's like, dude, the Cowboys like that while they haven't had the most difficult schedule in the NFL, they've played some good teams, you know, and they've beat those good teams. You know, they played the Chargers. They almost beat the Bucks. Mind you, the Bucks did turn the ball over four times, and that's not going to happen for the rest of the year. Um, but and I still think the Bucks are going to win the Super Bowl because uh, they have that guy, you know, Thomas Edward Brady. Yeah. Um, but the dude, the Cowboys, they finally have actually lived up to the hype that they've had for like 20 fucking years when have the cowboys not been hyped up in the in the offseason never but never. i'll say this i'll think i think cd lamb is now the number one court uh wide receiver on the cowboys not amari cooper oh absolutely absolutely yeah dude like i think that we could have seen that coming last year a little bit yeah uh, uh, amari should be like he like if based on his skill set amari should be the unequivocal best route runner in the nfl and he's not he's not you know, like I will say, Ke- like Keenan Allen's been banged up, and then like you know, I might be biased, but as a Chargers fan, I genuinely believe that he's yeah. one of, if not the best route and, runner in the NFL. And I'll say this too: uh, the Cowboys' run game is severely underrated. Like, I think Tony Pollard had like like fifty yards today, and Zeke had like sixty five. That's like a hundred. I think he had like seventy or eighty. Yeah, like dude, they they're like getting a hundred forty yards out of two guys. It's it's really hard to lose a game if you have running backs that are putting up 150 yards a game. Exactly, it's really hard because having a good run game, it not only does it tire out the defense, it opens up everything from a pass perspective. This is literally football 101. Honestly, I think what and Mac Jones did look good. He looked really good. I think honestly, what just kind of doomed them was like they just couldn't get after Dak at all. I wouldn't like, go so far to say that he looked really good. Matt he looked Jones. pretty good in terms of rookie, like in terms of expectations. I, I said I wrote the quote: "Mac Jones is still good, but also a rookie." That's, that's a what, real. That's a good. That's exactly. He, he just did, I literally just wrote that. He just did rookie stuff. Um, he just but, did rookie mistakes. But honestly, the what killed the Pats is like Dak had all day to throw, and Tyron Smith was out. So like that's an issue. If your left tackle, your hall, your future Hall of Famer left tackle is hurt, and they still can't get pressure, you're in for a tough night. Bro, dude, Tyron Smith is basically, dude, you've seen the longest yard, right? Remember Turley? Yeah. Turley, that guy yeah. that kept in like the glass solitary confinement. Kung, kung, kung. Bro, that is literally what Tyron Smith is. I've never seen a more freakish human being in my entire life. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but dude, the Cowboys are the real deal. They, I mean, you can make a very good argument that outside of the Bucks, they have the best receiving core in the NFL. I agree. It's them, the Bucks, and the Cardinals because they have Zach Ertz now, and that's just stupid. You know, like, uh, but dude, the NFL is exciting this year. The, I'm very happy to see that, like, dude, for the first time in I can't remember how long, there's so many teams that we did not expect to be good that are finally it's good. It's so fun. Bro, dude, literally, dude, the, like, I, as a Chargers fan, dude, like, yes, they got butt fucked today, but the Chargers are going to go to the playoffs. I don't, yeah. I don't care what you say. The Chargers are good. Dude, the, the Raiders kind of don't look bad still. I, I, like, I will say, dude, Getting jo- rid of John Gruden might be the best thing that's happened to the Raiders this year. They're like, we can have fun now. We can, yeah, we can have fun now. But you're like, yeah, it's like, oh, we're not gonna be like racist, misogynistic pieces of shit. And yeah. Carl Nassib's like, am I safe yet? Is that fucking asshole gone? Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, like I have a very good pass rusher, and then it's like, oh, my head coach is like literally hates me. Yeah, yeah, you know, like yeah. you're like, it's like, it's like, yeah, yeah, Carl, yeah, you know, like you're a great football player, but just know, as soon as we leave this football field. I, I do. I do not like you. I do not agree with your way of life. I do not like. Let, you. let us let it know where we stand. Love is love. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh. Thank you very much for watching. Week six was weird. A lot of lot of blowouts. A lot of blowouts, except for the Cowboys Pats game. And um. You know we have this. Uh, this is currently being filmed during the riveting Geno Smith versus thirty nine year old Ben Roethlisberger matchup. And um. I think it goes without saying why we didn't cover that game because. Justin, how many people give a fuck about that game? None. None. Unless you're a Steelers or Seahawks fan, which many of them don't. Okay. Uh, Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to tune in for week seven because we got some more good games next week. Thank you very much.